Hi, you guys. It's like 11 o'clock right now. Elizabeth and I woke up at like 8.30 today. She's working on the car with her dad today. My job today is to one, post my video today. It goes up at 2 o'clock. And also to take Reese to the groomers for the first time. Basically, Reese has a grooming appointment. Well, he had it at 2.30 today. But then they called us this morning, like right when we woke up and asked if we could come at uh, 12.30 instead. So I can do that. I'm doing nothing at home today. <laughs> and I also have to post my video at 2. So it makes more sense for me to like be available at 2, you know? Yeah, so today we're going to one a little bit closer to us. He's literally so cutie. He does this thing where he like rests on you. So he's like right now, he's like, he's resting on me. He like full on just goes like, or sometimes when he's sleeping, he goes like, he just like falls asleep sitting up. When he's tired, he doesn't just like lie down and fall asleep. He like goes like, and he like falls and he gets up and then he goes like, like for no reason, like he's not guarding anything. He doesn't have to stay awake, but he does it. Because Elizabeth is busy today, I'm gonna take him to the groomers. We're probably gonna walk together there, me and Reese. We don't wanna cut too much off of him. The main reason why he's getting groomed is because he's never gotten groomed before and we want him to get used to it because we wanna take him in for like regular grooms, you know, because we don't trust ourselves cutting his hair. With us, he doesn't like showers. We, we both shower him, obviously. She like holds him, you know, and I will like wash him and everything. We have treats for him. She gives him treats and tries to distract him and everything. Tries to make him comfortable to the water, but he just really like, hates the water. He gets so scared. He's like, okay with the scrubbing and everything. And the water's like not hot or not cold or anything like that. He just doesn't like, he's too scared of things like that. He's so like timid, you guys know. I Also, he is getting neutered tomorrow. I'm so scared. I recently realized that it's like a whole surgery and he's our baby and he's small and I'm stressed out. I'm scared. And I mean, I know he's gonna be fine, but I'm nervous. I, I get so nervous about things like this. I've never had surgery, which is why probably I'm so nervous about everything, but yeah. But that's why we kind of wanted to cut his like, um, his belly hair and everything, like his underneath hair. He has so much hair. I don't want him to look like a whole different dog and look so skinny or anything because he's not like, like poofy. Like I said, he just has a lot of hair. So I'm nervous. So I'll keep you guys updated. We're gonna leave soon. Oh, should I show you guys an update? Do you guys want an update on this toy? <laughs> look at the tassel. <laughs> I've summoned him. He loves fetch. Later. Hey guys. <laughs> so I just dropped Reese off at the groomers. I am so upset. I Hate is a strong word, but I hated that groomer. There's only one there. There's just like, I feel like she was rude to me, or maybe not rude. Like, I feel like she wasn't extremely nice because I'm young. Hold on, this is so awkward. <laughs> it's really good. Hi guys, I'm in a building just charging my phone because it's gonna die. And I have like an hour left before I have to pick up Reese, so it's not that bad. Um, I'm just waiting for him, but. I am drinking my iced coffee and waiting here, charging my phone. I'm so excited to see him, yet I'm so nervous. Also, I will talk about the whole, like, signing him up for his uh, grooming appointment later because it's a little of a story. I was very upset, but now I feel like I've calmed down a little bit. <laughs> but I'll probably tell you at home or, in, or something with Elizabeth because she hasn't heard it either. She's busy today. So yeah, so I'm stressed. I'm excited to see him. I'm very nervous that he's going to come out looking like a different dog or his hair is going to be too short. But yeah. But I'm excited. We're waiting a little bit longer and then we'll go get him. <laughs> One hour later. Oh my god. This is a scam. My life sucks. I literally, it was like pouring five minutes ago. And I was like, oh no, I texted Elizabeth being like, our dog's getting groomed. Like, what's the point, right? It's, it's raining. Like, that sucks. So I'm like, I'm gonna go buy an umbrella. Finally, we need an umbrella. I'm gonna go buy one because it's raining and I don't want him to get dirty in the pouring rain. And I go buy a $13 umbrella from a shoppers and it's sunny <laughs> it was cloudy and rainy the whole ground is wet i'm upset whatever i'm gonna go pick reese up now i'm so excited to see him i hope it stays sunny so we can walk home in the nice sun but yeah
Hi guys, we got home maybe like an hour ago. <laughs> Me and Reese have been sleeping. Like I'm so tired, he's also so tired. He got home and plopped on the floor. I wanna explain the story of the grooming appointment. Basically the experience of like checking in and everything with the groomer um, was not pleasant, I guess. Like I was so upset about it. I was angry for like a little bit. I was like, oh my god. Elizabeth's not here, like I said, she's busy. So I was like spamming her, texting her, being like, I am so upset, like what do I do? Like I couldn't like communicate with this lady. She was just, she made me so angry. Okay, so basically what happened was for Reese to get groomed or our dog to get groomed, they need like their shots and everything, right? And Reese has all his and he has like, what is it like a report card where the vet like writes what he got and like puts a sticker and like signs it, you know? A uh, groomer told us that he needed to have his rabies shot. And we're like, oh, he has that. Like we have the paper that like, you know proves that he has it and we'll bring it right she's like oh okay like she talked to elizabeth in the morning like i told you she called us to to ask if we can come earlier she talked to elizabeth on speaker on the phone at home she was saying something but she needs like paper saying that he got his rabies shot and we're like oh yeah we have this she's telling him like oh i have the blah 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 and she's like yeah and the lady's like call the vet and ask them for the paper and everything elizabeth's like i have it blah blah and the lady tells her like call me back when you call the vet and ask for it and we're like okay like you know it's fine we have it and the lady's like okay okay so elizabeth hangs up and tells me that you know obviously she wants like the rabies thing and we're like yeah we have it we kept like talking to me like we have i'll bring it right like i know where it is i'll just take it with me and we're like okay and elizabeth leaves you know i'm waiting to go and everything thinking that like i have everything right just, this is our first time taking a dog in general to the groomers and also like you know having to do all that right so basically we finally get there we're like five minutes late everything's closed in toronto right now or ontario so you can't even go in the store and like shop so for PetSmart, they had somebody at the front and then in the store in the back at the store they had the grooming section right so i you know come to the door and i tell her that like reese has a grooming appointment at like whatever time right she tells me that you know the groomer is gonna need like like a few minutes whatever so i think i waited like 10 minutes outside so it's okay like i rushed for nothing but that's fine so yeah so me and reese are waiting and then she lets us go inside so we go inside and we go to the back to the groomers and you guys she like she already off the bat the way she was like talking i guess she was totally one of those people that like like has an opinion and has like her mindset and everything and you can't change it does that make sense so i was really scared that she was just gonna like shave reese and be like that's what's the best for him and i was like oh god because that's not what we want right like i said i've never been to a grooming appointment before i don't really know how that works i know how hair styling works you know i know how like a hair consultation works you know like when they come in i usually like have them sit down and i like talk to them about it right and be like what do you want done or you know they're getting a haircut or a color like what are you thinking of right do you have a picture like we kind of talk about it, right it's the whole point of like a consultation for right now like i said you can't really go into the stores and like walk around or anything so i couldn't we couldn't go in and make an appointment and then like write down a, a consultation paper and like write down what we want you know online you couldn't do that either you kind of had to pick packages so it was like a hair wash haircut package and then there's like nail cutting like to add it in and stuff like that you kind of had to like make your own package and then at the end they had like a tell us something about reese is there anything else we need to know like health allergies like so it wasn't really like um you know give us a brief consultation and then you can come in and we'll talk about it right? like it's kind of confusing i didn't know if we were going to be able to go inside and tell them because i know like for curbside pickup they're literally on the curb and then they bring them the stuff right so i thought it was gonna be like oh like for reese uh, you know bring them and then give reese to them and then they like do their thing and then i come back in like two hours you know what i mean like i said i've never been to grooming point besides today but i feel like for a dog you're kind of like i need a trim or i need a haircut you know what I mean like a full haircut i guess customizable to what we wanted for our dog you know i didn't want to be like do a pomeranian haircut or do like a chihuahua haircut do like a poodle haircut you know like I wanted to tell her what I wanted, but like, again, I'm not a groomer. I'm a hairstylist, right? So I bring him in and the lady is like nice to him. And I was just like, oh my God, hi, you're so cute. You know, like Teresa and everything, which I appreciated. <laughs> she like said hi to me, whatever. She didn't introduce herself and I didn't introduce myself because I, you know, she just said hi. She thought that I was Elizabeth because Elizabeth made the appointment and everything. Like she kept calling me Elizabeth. <laughs> so that's fine. And I told her, I was like, oh, I told her, I was like, um, my, that's my girlfriend. Like my girlfriend made the appointment. And she's like, okay. Like It was really weird. And I told Elizabeth, like, I feel like people are like oh okay you know or like that's nice or like oh so you didn't make the appointment or you're not elizabeth you know but she was like okay you know what i mean like kind of disgusted you know like i didn't need to know that whatever but i wasn't trying to be like my girlfriend i was kind of just like my girlfriend made the appointment like i'm sorry like i'm nicole i'm not elizabeth i know a consultation for people right <laughs> i do those i know what those are like and i thought it would be like the same for a dog you know so you like check their hair check the scalp you know check if everything's okay and then ask what they want you know and then kind of like talk them through it i guess she wasn't really like doing anything she was kind of just like looking at me and talking to me and i was like is she gonna take him like 
do we talk about the, the haircut now? Like what's happening, right? The haircut's like the biggest concern for me, right? So she immediately asks me like, oh, do you have the certificate? And I'm like, a certificate? Like, what do you mean? And she's like, I need the break me certificate. And I'm like, oh, like, you know, here you go. I have it, right? And I give her his like report card. And I'm like, there you go. It's right there. It's on, on this page, whatever. I like showed her. And she's like, well, where is it? And I'm like, it's right here. And she's like, no. Did, did you not understand me? And I was like, what? Like, I was so confused. She's like, no, I told you on the phone that this is the wrong one. She was like upset with me. And I was like, what? I was like so confused and she was telling me that I needed to bring a certificate like a full-on certificate like signed or whatever And it was supposed to say like for sure that he got his rabies shot and I was like This is like a, the report card. You know what I mean? Like this is like what you get even when you're a baby You know what I mean? When you get all your shots you get it like signed by the doctor You know what I mean? And he had the same thing and she was like upset with me She told me that she can't take him in and I was like and I immediately like texted Elizabeth like she needs a certificate Like an actual certificate like what the heck and I was like what and I was like I know you know the ladies immediately like Like you have the vets number and I was like, yeah, I do and I'm looking for it and I didn't have it for some reason in my I think it's called something else in my phone because I was looking like a vet So I googled it and like every two seconds. She was like, do you have the number or not? Do you have the number or not? Like, where is it? Do you have the number? And I'm like, yes, I have the number. I was already upset and like she was bringing my mood down She's making me so stressed out like I was like thinking of like the person she was I wasn't comfortable with our dog getting like groomed by her, you know, so I give her the number she calls and she's like Because <sighs> they're not answering and I'm like, it's not my fault. I'm not answering. I feel like it doesn't make sense like <sighs> I get the whole thing of like that they, they need to know for sure that he has his rabies and stuff But I mean like that report card is like that's the point you know what I mean Anyway, so they didn't answer and she was upset with me and then she called again and she was like oh, like the whole time like oh. She's like telling me the whole time that they're not answering. I don't know why they're not answering you should have bought the, the certificate I told you to bring the certificate and I'm like, okay, and then they answer and she's like, oh wow Good for me that you finally answered and I was like, oh my god like that is so sassy like I'm scared to go to his neutering apartment tomorrow. They're gonna be like, why did you put us on the phone with this like sassy lady? She called from like the PetSmart phone too. Like she can call from my phone or anything. And the stupid part was that she called. I thought she was gonna ask them to like email her the certificate or like, you know, send her a picture or scan. You know what I mean? Like fax it or something. Like I thought she was gonna like need the proof that she was telling me she needed. But she she gets on the phone with them and she goes like, Hi, like, you know, I'm calling from PetSmart. Like I'm grooming Reese today. Like I wanna know about Reese's rabies vaccination. And immediately she's like, oh, okay. He got it done on blah, blah, blah. And she's like, okay. Thank you. And she hangs up and I was like, she didn't need a certificate. She was like, like touching him and like petting him. He's licking her and she was like getting to know him, you know, so they can become friendly and stuff. So she can groom him, right? I thought she was gonna take him. <laughs> I think I said like, when can we do the consultation? I'm like, when can I tell you about like what we were thinking about for his haircut? And she's like, can you give me a minute? And I was like, I don't understand. I feel like normal people, hairstylists and mostly like, I feel like people would be like, oh yeah, sure, we'll talk about that in a second. Like, let me bring him to the back. He was like, can I do like the checkup first? And I was like, okay, like I get it. Like, I, I totally understand. Just like if she had told me that beforehand, if like I walked in and she didn't just stare at me for me to go, hi, I have an appointment with Reese. And so just staring at me going, hi, she's the groomer. She has to like walk me through it. She has to like be the one to talk to me. And then from that, she like immediately told me what she wanted to do. And I, I get that. Like, I get that people do that too. Like, I... I understand that, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like if I saw, saw somebody's hair and they walked in like, I don't know what I want done today, what do you think? Then I think it makes sense for them to, to tell me first what they should get done, you know? If they don't know what, what they want, you know what I mean? But because I told her that I knew what I wanted multiple times, I feel like she could have been like, like first, like I said, like, what were you thinking, you know? And then tell me like, this is what I think looks good. This is what I recommend for this dog. The packages were called like top dog, like things like that, which sounds cool. And then you kind of look at the rest of it. And it was like haircut and washing and that's it. And it didn't have nail cutting and it didn't have teeth brushing, I think. So separately was teeth brushing and separately was nail grinding. Um, so we were like, we want his nails cut. So we added that and we really want his, his teeth brush. So we added that. And when I came in, I thought she'd be like, so you're here for Reese for a nail grinding. You know what I mean? I thought she'd like do that, but she didn't. And then talk about it, right? But she didn't. So that was upsetting. So when she started telling me like what she recommended and stuff like that, that kind of like was a waste of my time. I felt and like frustrating because like, like I said, I, we wrote down what we wanted. I'm here to tell her what I want and then she can give me her like feedback but also give me like oh that's incorrect because you know it's not the time but, you know what i mean she kind of give me her like stuff and i would respect that right she said something about like she doesn't re recommend cutting their back hair because it doesn't grow that much or something and i was like i get it but like his hair is too long and we, we want it a little shorter you know what i mean so like i did get that and i don't want his hair like completely short 
um but i do want his hair like a little shorter right yeah so she said she, she wasn't gonna cut his like back hair she was gonna cut his belly hair really well because she knows that like that's like the part that gets most dirty on so and i told her he's getting neutered and she's like oh okay so like we're gonna do a good cut i was like yeah and then she told me like she could do his like legs like over here and his arms um and then his paws you know like the whole stuff because it was like fraying like i said his tail and his like around his ears i think she said to like, kind of shape him and all that stuff and i was like yeah like that's what we want to as so i was thinking so it's good that we we're on the same page but then i was telling her that we do want to cut his back hair because it is a little long we do want it a little shorter because it is still like fraying and we do have like uh teeth brushing and nail cutting in the system right like that is what we're doing today like as well and she's like oh yeah cutting his nails is like in the package and i was like oh like i don't remember it saying that right i was like oh okay that's good then um so i was confused at why we added another one but i did know it said nail grinding and i was like i don't know what that means like <laughs> that's it, it, like when they wrote it in there it said like you know perfectly polishing their nails and like cutting them and i was like okay so like we're adding that right because we wanted his nails cut and from that like i said like i want to make sure like he's getting his teeth brush and all that stuff she's like oh okay so then she gets up and looks at the computer finally and you know is reading to me what we have written down for wanting to get for him and then telling me like what she recommends and also like from the computer she created her own package which was which was kind of confusing to me because like i said we created our own package she didn't tell me that like oh you guys want this blah, blah blah and like let me fix this like you know she didn't do that she kind of said from what you're telling me now i'm writing down like i'm this is the package i picked and she picked the top dog package as like an extra kind of package because it comes with like cool things you know and the regular package that we picked was like i guess the basic package um and she told me she's doing the top dog one and i was like okay i know that's a little more expensive and that's not what we wanted we mostly cared about his haircut so we weren't really caring about his shampoo and the cleanliness of his body you know because he's getting neutered tomorrow we want him to have a good haircut right and she wasn't telling me about it she's kind of just like i picked top dog because of the hair washing and then clipping the nails and then it's a toothbrush and i was like okay what else does that include right and she's like so the top dog one includes a really good condition and a really good shampoo for the dog and i was like okay she's like trying to sell me on this top dog thing but also she wasn't trying to sell me on it she already sold me on it like she picked it for me and at the end she was just gonna charge me for it right so that's also something that's annoying because like when you're a hairstylist and all that stuff and you're gonna charge somebody for something you kind of tell them right you don't just charge them for whatever and at the end they get billed a hundred dollars for this one thing that they didn't know was extra it was like a, a really good quality shampoo because the one we picked was the basic shampoo they don't care about it and i was like oh my god if you're going to a grooming salon you don't think they're gonna have dollar in my shampoo you know it's kind of like they have a grooming shampoo even if it's the cheaper one it's like still expensive that's why you're going to a groomers i mean you're getting a professional experience you're not getting the literal like like the disgusting easy shampoo and she told me basically that for his hair and for his type of the like, dog and his like length of hair and his type of hair they recommend a good shampoo because of all the tangles they endure and i was like he doesn't get tangles like when she was telling me about the nail grinding she's like i'm telling you right now nail grinding is 100 percent not gonna happen and i was like why like because like i said i thought i was nail cutting so i was like why can't you cut his nails you know that's not what it is and i was like what is nail grinding then <laughs> it did sound weird to us but like i said the package we made the groom didn't include like hair like nail cutting right maybe that's a new thing i don't know instead of cutting the nail they were gonna file it down and i was like oh like that's not what we want you know what i mean and like it was so annoying that she told me that like instead of telling me that like oh you know nail grind just so you know is this instead of nail cutting because people get confused you know what i mean and instead of going just telling you right now nail grinding is 100 percent not gonna happen and she literally said that to me so she's talking to me still and then i see something moving in the corner of my eye on the floor and i am you guys know from my get to know me video <laughs> that i am like deathly afraid of like rodents and uh, and rats and mice and uh, like all that stuff they're so disgusting so when i see something moving i go oh my god right like what is that so i think i went like like this and she's talking to me and i go oh my god there's a cricket i know that pet smart sells crickets you know what i mean for like the animals they sell to feed them blah blah disgusting so i'm always scared about that stuff so when i saw it i wasn't like i'm gonna kill this bug i was like oh there's a cricket on the floor out of it, its cage on the floor and she's like yeah that's okay there's always crickets around here and i was like on the floor like out of their cage and she's like yeah it's okay they don't bite and i was like i was like hey like she made me feel so dumb she made me feel so dumb i get when somebody's being funny and they're literally like uh eh, it's okay they don't bite oh they got i'll call the person to get it you know what i mean because they sell them to get eaten for other but for other animals that they sell you know like reptiles and all that stuff whatever right so i was so annoyed when i was trying to be helpful and she was talking to me like i said and then i told her that and she stopped and then she was like oh, okay um okay um and she kept looking at the computer and going uh as in like she didn't know what she was saying and she was like trying to find the words so while she was doing that i was looking around i was waiting for her, i was going mm -hmm, and i was looking and then she goes are you listening to me or like are you even listening and i was like yeah sorry like i thought she, she was going uh you know what i mean so i thought she was like she was waiting for the words to come to her brain and so i was looking for this cricket i was looking for other crickets and then when i look at her to be like yeah i'm sorry i'm waiting or like i'm listening she's like again it goes like okay um and she's like trying to get the words and i'm like okay like 
like trying to look for this cricket instead of going like this because she's apparently offended by that. She was like, eh, come at three o'clock. I'm not even gonna call you. Just come at three. And I was like, okay. Also, to try to make conversation, but to also be like, I don't like you. I want somebody else. I looked inside, like from behind her, there was like two grooming tables, I guess. So I asked her, I was like, oh, so like, are you the only one that works here? Because she like seemed like she was like the owner of that area. You know what I mean? Like the way she acted. I asked her nicely. I didn't mean to be rude. I wasn't trying to be rude. So her response was literally, yeah, but don't leave me. Why? Why would you ask me that? She literally said that. And I was like, I just want to know. I wasn't trying to be like, are you the only one here? Like, who else is here, right? Like, I wasn't trying to do that. I just wanted to know, like, are you the only one here? Like, does anybody else work with you? And I was so nervous. Just gonna, like, like cut all his hair off. Or, like, Go back to PetSmart to grab him. And I go inside and everything. I talk to the lady again. She comes out and she goes, he was awesome. She's so nice at this point. But I was like, oh my God, good. Like, I'm so like, ha happy and proud of him. That's great. He was good even with the water. Because I told her, he's not scared of the water. He's good with water. He loves water. You know what I mean? He was scared of, like, like the the noise of all the water and she immediately goes back to her like bad attitude and she goes he wasn't scared of water i was like okay and, like she immediately makes me feel dumb she makes me feel like i'm dumb the way i shower him is wrong because he's not scared of water with her from that i'm like oh no he's not scared of water he's scared of like the noise like i kind of explained the whole thing again and she's like yeah he was kind of timid actually and i was like yeah that's what i meant i think she wanted me to pay and stuff and then give him to me but i was kind of like like i said i was really nervous about our interaction so i was scared that she was gonna do something weird or wrong i don't know so I asked her, I said, can I see him before we like continue or whatever? And she's like, oh, of course. She goes, get him. And she asked me for his collar so she could put a bow on it. And I was like, oh my God, like he doesn't let us put bows on him. And she brings him out and I was like, he looks so cute. He looks so clean and he looks handsome. I was so happy. I liked her after that. I was like, thank you so much. And then we did the whole like ending stuff and yeah. But after receiving him back and after seeing his haircut, I was very happy. So I'm happy with that experience. And yeah, that was my little rant slash, you know, end result experience. I hope you guys like his haircut. It's so cute. I love it. It looks loves it and now he's gonna be like strutting his way you know tomorrow he's gonna get neutered i'm really nervous so yeah so i'll bring you guys along tomorrow